Hey, Mike here with silverbackweb.com and today I want to answer a question that a lot of people are asking and that's this, how to fix Google reviews that aren't showing up. A lot of folks are struggling with this issue because Google is throttling these reviews because of its algorithm. Now, in my last video, I covered the reasons why Google is throttling reviews based on policy issues and things that you shouldn't do when you leave a review. But most people's reviews aren't showing up, not because of policies, but just simply because Google's algorithm is catching them and they're not showing up. A lot of folks expressed frustration as to why the reviews aren't showing up. In fact, Karen said, I'm glad I'm not the only person Google is gaslighting. I completely agree with that. I understand that feeling. It feels better to know you're not the only one, but it still sucks and it doesn't help your business. Johnny said he has a window cleaning business. He's got five new reviews and not a single one of them are showing up. And even Steve here says, I give up, I quit, I'm not leaving Google reviews anymore. I wanna say don't quit, Google reviews are important. It's important for your local SEO and it's important for your customer's experience. People look at Google reviews when they make decisions about what business they're gonna use. So you need these reviews. And so don't give up, fight back, make Google, show those reviews. And today I wanna to show you how to do just that, how to get these Google reviews to show up if they're missing. So I'm just gonna give you a couple simple steps and I will say it is going to require you to have at least some sort of relationship with this client or this customer. You're going to need to ask them to do something for you again. And that sucks because you already asked them to leave your review and they actually did. And now you gotta reach out back out to them and say, hey, could I get you to do me one more favor? And that really sucks. But it's important to do this because what I have found is that once we are able able to get that person's review to show up or a few more of those reviews to show up, it seems to kind of like block the cork and all the reviews start showing up. So let me show you the steps that you need to take. Step one is you need to ask the client to get a screenshot of their review. I know this may be difficult asking an old person perhaps who doesn't know how to use computers. So listen, I'm going to give you my cheat sheet that you can swipe, you can steal, just head over to silverbackweb.com, click on the link in the description and you can steal this JPEG. Because it's a JPEG, you can easily text it to your client or email it to them if you want. Let's go through the steps. First thing you need to do is you need to open your Google business or your Google Maps app. The map, the app that you use to get directions, where that's the map, that's the app that you wanna open. Then in the second step, you're gonna see your face, or maybe you don't have a face, maybe you just have letters and a purple circle because you didn't put a face on there for your, for your account. But click on your account icon right here. Click your icon, your face or your icon on top right sidebar. That's gonna lead you to this page where you're gonna see a menu. And in this menu, you're gonna click right here where it says your profile. And then as you click on the your profile, you'll have an opportunity to scroll down. You'll probably see photos that you've left in the past or other, other reviews that you've left in the past. You just wanna scroll down until you get to the questionable review. This is the review that you left that no one else can see. And the reason why is because the account holder left the review, they can see their own review, but no one else can see it. It's not live on Google. They think it is because they see it, but Google has throttled it. So you're telling them, look, your review is there on your account, but it's not on everyone else's account. So what I'd like you to do is go follow these steps, take a screenshot of that review, send it to me so that I can appeal to Google that you actually left a review and that it's not actually showing up. So I've even placed down here at the bottom a quick cheat sheet on how to take a screenshot because a lot of people might not know how to do that. And so there's different phones. There's the iPhone. You just press these two buttons. There's the iPhone that has the home button. You press those two buttons. Or some people actually use Android phones and you can push these two buttons and that would take a screenshot. And that's all that you need. Now, once you get the screenshot from your customer, the next step is you're going to go to Google and you're going to explain to them this customer left a review and I'd like to appeal the fact that it's not showing up. So now let me show you how to do just that. So what you're going to do is go to Google Business Support page, which is support.google.com or better yet, you could just follow the link in my description on the blog post. It takes you right to like the fourth page of this journey. But let me just show you all the pages. So the first page that you get to is going to be here. It's going to say, hey, how can we help you? What would, would you do? And there's more than one way to skin a cat. There's more than one way to get to the right page, but this is what I did. Fix errors, I clicked on that. And then after fixing errors, it gave me these options, report, blah, blah, blah. But right here it says understanding missing in delayed reviews. And when I clicked there, it took me to this page and I'm like, oh crap, Google's not actually going to let me fix the review. They're just gonna tell me why reviews aren't showing up. And I don't need to know that. What I need to know is, what, is, is if you will fix this review. 
And so what I did was actually read this content. I never do, but you just read this content and down here it says contact support for assistance. If you click on this link, it will take you to the next page, which is right here. Now, by the way, I mentioned before that if you just follow the link in my blog post, it will take you straight to here. You, you skip all those other different pieces. So once you're here, you're gonna select your business. You might have more than one business, select the one that is having the missing review issue. I just leave this as it is, contact support, or I might add contact support about missing review. You're choosing this button right here saying missing review, and then you click the button that says, obviously, next step. Now, your next step, this is kind of confusing, and I think it's a way for Google to kind of get us lost. If, if, it's, if it's not purposely done to get us lost, then it's just bad user experience in their um, website, but this is just a bunch of resources, right? Step two is not a step. It's just a bunch of resources, blah, 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 blah. Don't even, don't even click here where it says contact issue because it's going to not help you. What you need to do is hit this button right here, the next step button. Do you see how they trick you? So all you have to do is hit this next step button and it will take you to this screen where you can actually send an email and contact Google support staff. And so that is what you do. And in that email, what I would say is, dear, and I'd be very kind, just be very kind about it. Google responds better when you're thankful and nice. Say thank you for you know everything that you do for the world. And then <laughs> I'm leaving you um, some screenshots of a few customers who have left me reviews. They're frustrated that they spent the time to leave the review and it's not showing up. And as a business owner, I would really love to have these reviews show up. Could you please look into these reviews and um, allow them to show up on my uh, Google business? Thank you for taking the time to doing this and I look forward to hearing from you soon. If you respond in a kind way, Google generally will respond back. Now, the last step is just wait. We all hate waiting. I hate waiting. I'm sure you do too, but that's all we can do is wait for Google to respond. And you will get a response from Google. The email will come in and, and, and most of the time, it, you'll, these reviews will start showing up. Now, here's what I have found. I've had clients in the past who have had reviews that are throttled down, same as the you know Johnny in, in, in the comments, where he had five reviews and none of them are showing up. And it's like, why? Why? Did, and I asked, are these reviews from your mom? Are these reviews from you know colleagues that work under the same business? Are you doing it under the same IP address? No, 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 no. These are real clients who I actually did service for. Well, let's do this. Let's let's get screenshots and send it to Google. And what I found was Google showed those reviews, and once those reviews were unlocked and revealed, it seemed as if he didn't have problems getting reviews anymore. Every time he asked for a review, he got a review and it showed up. And um, at Silverback, we comment on those reviews and we help help to increase their local SEO by being very active on Google Business Profile. I hope this video has helped you in learning how to fix Google reviews that aren't showing up. Now, of course, I can't guarantee that this is gonna work 100% of the time, every single time, but I can tell you that if you don't try, it's never gonna show up. You need to actually do something to get these things to show up. I hope that has helped you. Hey, do me a favor and please subscribe to this channel. We're trying to create content that will help contractors with their digital marketing services. And if you're interested in learning more about Silverback Web and what we offer for contractors, web design, pay-per-click advertising, SEO, local SEO, check out our website, silverbackweb.com. Learn more about the services that we provide for contractors just like you so that you can grow your business. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I'll see you in the next video.